Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to share top 10 secret MS Word tips and tricks that will make you a pro. So let us start with the first trick that is Spike. So let us say you have a scenario like this. You have a document, a very big document and you want to copy multiple things and paste it into a new place altogether. For example, let us say I want to copy this introduction, this quote and maybe section 4 and some conclusion and paste it all at one place you can do it by using ctrl c and ctrl v but that will take some time because you have to navigate quite often but microsoft words provide you a simple way that is called spike where you can copy multiple items and paste all at once so to do that first of all you have to select the text that you want to copy or cut and then press ctrl f3 which will cut that section and if you want to copy it, you just have to press Ctrl Z. So that will again bring back the original section, but that will be copied into a separate clipboard that is called Spike. So now I want to copy this. So I'll again press, it will cut it. And if you want to just copy, then press Ctrl Z. Then let us say I want to copy this section. Again, Ctrl F3, it will cut. To bring it back here, press Ctrl Z and then let us say i want to copy the first paragraph of conclusion again select the text press ctrl f3 and if you want to bring it back here press ctrl z now if i want to paste all the things that i have copied right now using ctrl f3 at one place you can do it by using ctrl shift f3 which will paste all the things that i have recently copied that is introduction then this quote then section 3 and first paragraph of this thing so this is how you use this shortcut and it also works across documents. You can copy all this text in one document and paste it in another document. So I'll just quickly show you that that also works. Control F3 and Control F3. And let us say I want to copy first paragraph. Control F3. And let us say I open a new document. And here you can again use Control Shift F3 to paste all these things. So it really works. So this was the first shortcut. You can copy multiple items one by one and paste all of this at once. Now coming to the second, there are times when you need to select word, sentences or paragraph really fast. For example, I want to make this uh, word bold. So I don't need to select this word manually by using mouse. You just have to double click inside that word to select it all at once. And maybe you can do other formatting. So this is for selecting word. Just double click anywhere on that word to select that word. Now, if you want to select that sentence, you have to press Ctrl and then click on any sentence to select it completely, right? For example, I want to select this sentence. So I just have to press Ctrl and then click anywhere on this sentence to select it completely. And if you want to select a paragraph, uh, you have to press triple click on any of paragraph. One, two, three. Double click will select a word and triple click will select the entire paragraph. So this shortcut is sometimes really useful while formatting some particular text, particular word, sentence or paragraph. Now, next thing is, let us say you have a very big document and you started editing. So for example, this is my big document and while i was editing let us say i was editing this word i will say i'll make this bold and i will place this is my first edited text and then i'll make it bold so that it is visible now i want to quickly move to the last edited place so to shortcut that is shift f5 will bring back to the last edited place that is how you can move to the last edited place in the document really faster now moving to the food shortcut for example if you're copying text with a different format from a different place for document pdf or any other place like browser for example this is my blog pickupbrain.com and i am copying this text and i want to paste it in my word document and the moment i paste it the entire content gets copied with its formatting but if you want to quickly remove this formatting you can select the entire text that is pasted here and then press Control space to remove all the formatting so to make it a normal text so that is quickly pasting that copied text as plain text moving to the next shot the fifth shortcut is you can use sum and product formula like you do in excel in microsoft word and you can apply all these formulas in a table for example if i want to add these quantities so what i'll do i'll just place my cursor at the cell where i want to have a total then go to layout and the extreme right click on formula and by default it will give the formula sum up that means it will give the sum of all the numbers that are above the current cell so if i just wanted that so i'll just click ok 
and I'll get some. So this is sum of all these quantities. Similarly, if you want to have product and other things, you can try the formula. For example, let us say I want to have a product of these three numbers. Now that is not useful, but just for demonstration, I want to have product of all these numbers. So I'll place my cursor at the bottom, again click on formula and instead of sum, you can see this, that these are the formula that are available. Not just sum and product, you can have all these things. So let us say I want to have product of all the numbers that are above. So I'll just click on product and in this bracket, I'll type A B O V E in uppercase and then click OK. And this will give me the product of all these values. Now, the advantage of this thing is you not only you can quickly apply formulas, but it updates too. For example, if I change this value to 1, so it should give me 12. Now to update this formula, what I have to do, I have to select this text and then right click and click on update field it will update the formula so if i want to update all the formula in this table i just select the entire table and then f9 to update the formula now six shortcut is you can quickly cycle through uppercase lowercase and sentence case by using shift f3 for example i want to change case of this text so i'll just select this text and press shift f3 and it will cycle through lowercase sentence case and uppercase so this is sometimes useful to quickly change the case of the text. Now moving to the seventh, you can quickly create a table from data. For example, I want to create a table. Column of my table are C O L one, call one, call two. You just have to remember that you have to separate columns by using tab key. So I'll run on this formatting tab to show that I am really pressing tab key. And I want to go to the next column. So using a tab key again, call three. And now if you want to start a new row, just press enter. Row 1, row 1, and then tab, and then again row 1. Row 2, tab, row 2, tab, row 2. And once you are done, select all the text that you want to convert it into a table and quickly press Alt A V X and then press enter. Now you can format all this these columns as per your need. So this is the quick way of creating a table from a data. You just have to remember that columns are separated by using a tab and rows are separated by an enter key or a new line. The next shortcut is moving row of a table up or down. For example, see this is my table and here I want to make this thing in ascending order. Row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5 and row 6. Now as you can see that row 3, I want to bring down row 3 below row 2. So I just select this entire row or even clicking on some particular cell is enough and to move this row down you press alt shift and then down arrow to move it down and you can see that it is really easy to move the row down similarly you can move a row up for example i want to bring this row 4 above row 5 or click on the cell that you want to move and then again press alt shift and now up arrow to move it up so this is very easy way to move your row up or down in microsoft word and quite useful i'll turn on off this formatting tab it's not looking great now you can quickly insert a horizontal line by using some particular set of symbols for example i can type three minus sign or three hyphens at the starting of the line and then press enter to get a horizontal line if i want to have a double horizontal line I'll type three equal to at the starting and then press enter to get a double line. Also, I can type three star or three asterisk mark and then press enter to get a dotted line. And there are numerous versions of it. So if you want to see this thing in more detail, I'll just pop up a link of my video and you can see the entire range of lines that is being covered by using this shortcut. Now moving to the last shortcut that is repeat previous tasks and this is my favorite for example if you want to delete row 1 row 4 and row 6 so what i do i just select the row 1 and right click and then click on delete cells and here i want to delete the entire row so i click here and then press ok so this deletes my row 1 and if i want to repeat the previous task i simply press f4 and this repeats the previous task similarly if i want to delete row 6 I, again i go to row 6 and press f4 and the previous task gets repeated and this shortcut is really really helpful and it works in variety of cases so these are the 10 shortcuts that are hidden but are very very useful that will take you to the next level so that's all in this video if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more such videos like this then please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell notification icon and see you in next video